I will be showing you um, the, like the basic stuff you need to know about using the console. All the basic commands, everything you need to know to be able to mod and get freely through through this game easily by using console commands. Yeah. So first things first is guard mode. Easy, easy as just TGM. Easy as that. Invincible now, unable to die. I've also tested this on high damages. You can still die in guard mode, but you'll have to be like over the thousand, like probably a million damage to kill you. But yeah, other than that, you're fine. I doubt there'll be that much damage. So like, if you have a kill boundary, it will kill you since it does more damage than what guard mode can hold. So, flying around. This is very helpful when modding and trying to figure out. Now, to fly around, as you can see the bar here, clicking on whatever will be, um, you click on objects, I'll give you a number. What you want to do is get rid of that number by clicking twice on anything. You want to find one object, so just leave your cursor in the one place, click again, and then TCL. This will allow you to start flying. You cannot fly when, um, you are locked on with a code in your console. Just get rid of it, type it again, easy enough. So it's TCL, real easy to remember. Okay, another one, to get around. So if you um, made a world and you put a name down, so you, like you put a COC to teleport to, um, yeah? So what you would do is, like if I wanted to teleport to Whiterun or a name like uh, what would you call it? Like, oh yeah, the world is made of squares. They all have um, wilderness or a name to them. So I want to go to probably Riverwood. So C A C Riverwood. This will lead me to the square in Riverwood that is named Riverwood. There we go. I am now in Riverwood. Is that you can teleport to anything that you know that has a name, so what you would do in Crash Kit um, at the um, place where you have to click on to teleport to that cell will be the name of what you're teleporting to, like um, like a name of a house that has it has to be the name from the um, from the Creation Kit um, view, not from in game. Well, Riverwood. Oh, that was. That was just lucky because they named it Riverwood instead of Riverwood Attack Start. Most cities use Attack Start after it, like White Run Attack Start, Zero One, and all that. Um, Rift and Attack Start. Yeah. Um. Okay. That's enough. COC. There is mod. No. Yeah. Mod AV. Then drag on souls. This one took me a while to remember. I just do it like. Thousand. So basically, what this does is mods your character, and I just gave myself ten thousand dragon souls. So I should be able to shout like crazy. Oh shit! Wrong one. P. Uh, I don't have any shouts. So, but yeah, I would have ten thousand dragon souls. You can do this for a lot of things, but all I know is dragon souls from now. I can't really remember any of the other ones. Okay, now for the most important, um, no, I don't, second most important command that you'll need if you're downloading other people's mods or making your own is giving yourself items. Easy enough, this one isn't easy to remember, well, I found it easy to remember, it's just place, place at me, easy as that, and then you'll need your code. Um, so I'm going to do mm, coins, I believe it's, in fact I'm not sure, okay, okay, well we'll do this with two ways, the first one, the first most important um, command is help, now with help you can go help, um, now this, you do a space and then you're going to choose what you want to look up, so You'll need a name. So if I want iron armor, I'll just type iron so I get all iron stuff. You wouldn't do iron armor because it's not like a search bar. I just search for something that has the word iron in it. 
And if you put iron, you can't put spaces. You can only put one word, and you have to put. If you did iron armor, you'll have to have no spaces. And if it's named with a space like iron mace of draining, you will not be able to do that. Oh, I'll show you. Iron mace, as it cannot look for it. it says com compliance script not saved, and yada yada yada. You can't find it. So you'll have to have one word. So, um. I'm looking for Falmore. I'll get all the Falmore. You can use the page up and page down to get, look through the whole thing. Depending on your monitor size is the amount of items you'll get in this search bar. If you're on win, like windowed mode and you have a super small turn to your screen, you'll only see like a couple items. But yeah, um, right now it just goes all up to idle. It's probably like all of it. But if you get like something that has way too much, like um, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. So um, this is all your items. If I want to spawn in, let's say I want to spawn in a Thalmor shield. So I'll go add item. Why no? Well, there's actually two ways to place at me and add item. So add item will add it into your inventory and place at me will add it below you. Usually place at me would be for something like um yeah I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Okay. We want help forge. If you want to place a forge at you. Now this is the fun thing about forge and furniture. As you can see the F U R N is the furniture. What you want to do is align your camera up straight as possible and click on yourself so it should be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4. place at me now you do not want to add item I don't even think it would work I haven't really tried it ok 0, 2 well let's add the sky forge yeah 0, 0, 0 B, B C, F, 1 and then no we'll, we'll just leave it like that this will where is it oh there it is there you go Okay, basically, this will, if you look up and place it, it will place it weirdly. So, if you're creating a home, if you want to, like, just create a house, it is really easy. So, you go help chair, and you'll get all your chairs, you can place them around, you can make your own home without using the creation kit. And I, I used to do this until I um, got the creation kit. This is, like, um, after I complete the game, and then... After that, I kept playing, and I just figured out console commands, started cheating. It was really fun. So yeah, um, you'll have all this. Easy enough. Okay, we learned the place at me command. Place something at, right at you. So now we want to learn the um, add item to inventory command. So this one's as easy as them all. So what you want to do is help. No, I meant add item. Yes. Now we want to give ourselves an item that's in the game, so gold. So what we would do is put in the gold command. So what you would do is help gold. And you search for, because it's a misc item, so basically um, how this works is if it's in here, this is all misc. Box appeal is just um, armor and weapons. Um, this would be classified as food, I believe. Just food. And yes, okay. So what we want is gold. So I have already typed in gold. It is up the top misc. So it's the just under where it says other forms misc then gold. So what you'll do is add item one two three one two three four of zeros. That's usually how just an easy way of thinking of um, all the zeros. So one two three one two three four of the zeros. Then F and now you will do space and write how many items how many gold do you want add to your inventory so click enter go to your inventory go to miss and I do not have it oh wait what does it say gold wait give me a second oh okay when you type in the code make sure you have clicked on your character that should be 000 then click enter. You'll hear it and it'll say gold up top. Or whatever item you place in the inventory. Now, I don't know. Oh, okay, it comes up here. 
So I got 10,000 gold. That's as much as I already, must have already had 140. You can do this for everything. This is the same as place at me. So if I did place at me, I would only do five just because if I did 10,000, it would lag out my computer. This just adds it below your feet. And now there'll be gold everywhere. But yeah. One, two. Oh yeah, one more tip. Um, for the, you know the place... Okay. One more tip. The place at me command that we're talking about. The easiest place at me command for an actor. Um, okay, these... I don't remember how I found it, but... What you want to do is place at me... Now, um, 559. Type that in. E0 is for Imperial. DF is for Stormcloak. Now these will spawn in um, a commander of both factions. So DF, and then I will put an E0. These I mostly use a lot just to test out weapons and stuff. Just because they're easiest to spawn in. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, that might take a while. But yeah, um, they're the easiest commands. So I'll say that's one of the basic things you need to remember. Is those two. Because these are... Small and easy to remember, and they give you both factions. So, you know, if you're testing on one faction, but yeah, um, I don't believe they give you a um, bounty either. They hate you if you kill them, and they'll attack you when it, whenever you attack them. But I don't think they give you any bounty. One more that's very important. Definitely, we're taking screenshots. Is the TFC command. This allows you to fly around with your character not moving around, allows you to quickly move. You can make this camera faster, but uh, I might remember it. S U C S M, I believe it is, then 10. Yep, this makes it slow. This um, allows for more like m if you're making a movie in Skyrim, you'll be able to slow the camera down so you can quickly get that side angle to go like that. And then, um, I think, uh, I'm not sure what the normal speed is, it's probably 50. So yeah, um, if you're trying to get a close up on the Falmore, what you would do is, just do this and then quick, just, well when he starts moving, just, just quickly slide through like that, when you get some mad angles for making a movie or something. You can also, with this, you, I usually use it to look at my character. So, so just remember S-U-C-S-M. This took me a while to remember just because it, just, it's not a word. It's hard to, yeah, so just, you can easily just, um, if you're probably doing this, you're probably going to zero points, um, like that. This will get you, like, super slow action. So, yeah, that's how you would make images or reviews of people's armor or something like that you know or unless you wanted to see what's outside the map you would probably do this so what I'll do is set that probably up oh, I'll probably do 80 just so I can go faster so yeah you can see what's outside the map there's nothing outside the map you know just nice just to see how the map how everything works this is what I love in games, being able to see how a game is designed, how it works, and this is just really nice to have a flying camera. Uh, okay, um, what else? So TFC, just to get you back into it again, so you can easily get around. Okay, there's another one for more uh, of, if you're trying to make a video, another thing for videos, yes, is the FOV. This allows you to change your FOV to a certain level, so 10 gets you a little close. So if you're doing like far away shots and you're trying to get to like that type of thing where it's like action and you're doing that far away view, it looks so sick. You can also do FOV 10, I believe 70 is the normal. No, oh, Paul, I'm already doing 10. I mean like probably 90. No. Let's do 120. So you get that far away view, like you see in Facebook videos of people on top of skyscrapers where they do that um, FOV thing just to make it look more scarier than what it really is. So it looks more like further away. Like if I did um, 150 maybe, everything looks so far away, like it looks mad. But in reality it isn't really, 
but look how sick that is. You can make mad, like, really good movies doing this. Like, it seems like I'm taking forever to get there, but it's really small. It's, like, look how far away that looks. It looks so cool. Like, like I'll, it'll probably be better just to play like this. So, yeah, um... Yeah, that looks really cool. Little, I'll probably get a little weird playing like this, but turning your camera a lot. Just because it makes... Like, things on the right and left don't look too far away, but if you turn, it does. But yeah, yeah, that's that's a really good command. So yeah, ah, uh, oh, what else? Mm, I don't, I'm not sure if there's anything else. So they're the basic things you need to make videos, mods, and just basic messing around with Skyrim. It's really good to know all these. I'll put all the commands that I just put into this video, or probably more, I don't know, in the comment section if you want to look back on this video or whatever you want to do to if you want to copy and paste it into a text folder I will put them all down and yeah this this is really good to have and that's it for this video hope you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe share with your friends and I will see you in the next one bye